Hey guys! So today, actually, I did a lot today, and I think it's too much to put into a video, so I'll try to cut it up a little bit short. Um, today, as I told you before, I went to visit my aunt, my brother, uh, my aunt brother, my dad's uh, little sister, so, <laughs> uh, home today, and to visit my little cousin, which um, I call as Mei Mei, which is like little sister, even, even though she's my cousin, but hey, she's so cute, like, oh my gosh, she's, um, in third grade, actually, and then that girl can talk, like, she knows how to talk back to you, but not in, like, a bad way, like, smart ASS way, <laughs> and for me, I was just like, oh. I like this kid, and apparently people say we are very much alike, which I don't disagree. <laughs> I guess we are kind of alike. Just in some way. <laughs> but, um... Sorry, I'm doing something really fast. Uh, and okay, so we went to visit her, and in like two minutes... Um, I don't know, I guess I'll call her, call him my uncle. Yeah, he drove us to this place called Ri Yue Tan, which is in translation is like sun moon. I don't really know how to translate Tan. Tan is like a big lake. It's like a lake city. So then we went there. And we went to ride the. Well, I am lo I'm, I'm so sorry. I am so tired. Today <laughs> I went everywhere, but you know, like in ice mountains, have those chairs where you go all the way up and then, oh, oh, you don't go down. We go all the way up. Well, that's basically what we wrote, only in the box. You'll see the pictures soon enough. I'll hopefully maybe upload them on Tumblr. Try not. I'm trying not to upload things on Facebook, only because I don't really want people to know I'm in Taiwan. Even though most people do already, but just, you know, some people that I don't want them to. So yeah. And okay, so we went to this one place, which is like a little tourist place, um, showing you Aborigines of Taiwanese people. And I wish I had gotten something there that shows the native to Taiwan, you know, things. But my grandma came with us. And you know how grandmothers are. If you saw something, you're like, oh, it's awesome. They're like, let me buy it for you. And I was like, no, grandma, don't buy it for me. I have my own money. That's how I didn't get anything over there. Like, uh, I wish I had, because there were so many really awesome stuff. Like, I will have so got this clothes that shows, that, like, um, the, Abor the Aborigines for. But obviously, with my grandma there, it's kind of hard. And I really don't want to spend her money. At all. So, if I had gone by myself, with my sister, I would probably have spent like a million dollars. <laughs> Taiwanese money. Not American money. That would be kind of ridiculous. But yeah. That was bad. <laughs> but I wish I had. Oh well. But, she did buy this. Only because my little cousin was like, Oh my god, I want this. This, um, oh, with the light, you can't see. This is like little honey jelly thingy. And it's a, in a, in a, it's in a really cute box. And this is what most Taiwanese jelly, oh, Taiwan produced jelly looks like. It's in a stick form. Like a really tiny stick. Very, very skinny. And all you do is like you rip this top open, it's just like a, you know, like those ice stuff, but this is so yummy. It's natural honey, and it's so cute. And then like over here it says, um, Xiao Kou, Xiao Kou, Mama Ai Wo, which is like, um, little bite, little bite, mommy loves me. I thought it was cute. And it's always just, it's just basically telling the parents like, don't let little babies eat this, they might choke on it. And watch your kids. Don't let them die. So yeah. 
Oh, I've been showing you guys this food. <laughs> I wish I had something else to show you guys. But I don't. <laughs> because the things I will want to get. Every time I go to Masu, and if she sees it, or if I say anything, she gets it, like this. And I was just like, no grandma, I don't want to use your money. I'm already eating food at your place, and it's bad enough. <laughs> so yeah, oh, and after that, um, we walked around, went to the harbor, and ate stinky tofu, which if you come to Taiwan, you have to eat it. Don't worry, it's nothing really bad. It's actually really delicious. I used to be really afraid of it. Now I'm just like, oh, stinky tofu. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see, who that be? That is bright. I'll turn it off. <laughs> but and after that, we went to a temple once again. Taiwan has like so many temples, but this one was like freaking huge. And there was just a few things over there, like cute little stuff and I just thought of something that I could show you guys in this video but I'm really too lazy to get it because yeah it's in my sister's room and I don't want to go get it oh, maybe I will hold on That's going to be so weird in the video. <laughs> but um, it's this little thing from the temple. And what it is, is like you, you make a wish. You write your name and address and email. And if your wish is really long, you write more in the back. And what this one is, as you can see, no, not really. It enlightened wisdom and have progress in study. And they have different ones. Like this one is for whole family safe and well. Always well with everything. You just basically have different little like cards with different little things. Another one was for wealth. And then uh, you write it and then you put it in the temple. In hopes that your wish will come true. But I didn't write it because I'm just like I don't I don't know if they read uh, English. <laughs> but yeah, it was interesting. I thought it was really cute, but it was a huge temple, and I would love to show you guys the pictures when I get to upload them. And then after that, you know, I just went back home, went shopping a little bit more, like every single night. It's just fun shopping here. Like, you never run out of stuff. You you walk on the street and you thought that you know the street, but then you just found this amazing store and you're like, oh, let's go in there. And you do, and you're like, oh, it's not bad. But in this one bookstore, I found this mochi book. And I'm just like, I've been going back in the last few days just to look at the book because I really want it, but it is so expensive. And my dad has a VIP card, which is um 10% off. But even with the 10% off, it's still kind of expensive. I'm trying to not to spend all the money in the first two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I already spent, like, what, 3000 uh. <laughs> But I think tomorrow my dad's going to bring us to either... I don't know how to say this. Tea making. Yeah, tea making. Uh, Japanese style. It's like you have the tea stuff in a bowl and then you grind it. That or our natural science museum, which would be pretty cool because now they have an Egyptian um, display on for a few weeks. Actually, no, a few months. And yeah, I think there's other stuff there. And hopefully, maybe, you know, I can get something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep this video pretty short, only because my canker sores are killing me, and it really hurts to do anything that was that involves me opening my mouth, even though I still eat a lot. Like you can see, my cheeks are getting chubbier, which is no good. But eat bug.
Um, yeah, can Kishwur no good, no bueno. So yeah, I'm gonna go early tonight, and I hope you guys enjoy your holiday still. And yeah, don't do anything bad. No drinking on New Year's. So yeah, <laughs> bye bye.